So I'm so sorry, guys. Too. I'm having such a bad network problem. Um, am I clear, though? Are you able to? Yes. Hear? Now I think you are clear. We can hear you okay, clearly wonderful. now. Okay. All right. Great. I'm sorry. There's there's so much noise where I am, um, but you know I couldn't find the space. Teacher Coco, it's cutting again. You are cutting again. All right, let's continue. Oh no. Uh, Guys, keep them coming. Keep them coming. I see we Dumelo said 144 is one of them. Emra yes. Harens is 25 is one of them. Let's go, guys. You are doing this. Teacher Coco, we cannot hear. Oh, Farad, I agree with you. Load shedding is just attacking us, but we're going to be fine. So guys, can you see on the screen, Teacher Coco is highlighting all the numbers that are square numbers, okay? So we can see that she has highlighted 16 for us, 144 for us, 9, 49, so you can mark, okay? You can mark your numbers of what you thought it was a, a, a square number. You can see 64 is one of them. One is one of them. Four is one of them. Let's go, guys. Mseki, why you need to be careful with that number. Because when you put it in the calculator, guys, when you find the square root of a number that you're giving us now, it needs to give you like a perfect number. It, it, it shouldn't give you any decimals. So we have a 4 there, a 64 there, 625, it's one of them. Teacher Linda, are you able to hear me now? Yes, now I, I could hear that sentence perfectly. Keep talking. Okay. I <laughs> Maybe hope we'll survive. I can keep this up. I hope so. Okay, so <laughs> the reason why these numbers are perfect squares because that's because not if, sorry, it's because I can find I can find just one number. One number. multiplied by itself uh, i'm going to move this over here for me multiplied by itself and it will give me one of these numbers so we can test some of these let's start with 64. guys who can tell me which number quickly in the chat which number multiplied by itself is going to give me 64? Let's go, my people. Woo! And the city says eight exactly because eight times eight or eight squared. Let me write it over here. Eight times eight or eight squared is equal to 64. Okay, and that makes 64 a perfect square. Same with one. That's because I've got one times one, and that's going to give me one squared. And that, again, is also equal to one. So one is also a perfect square. All right. Mm, let me ask one more. What about 65, uh, 625, I mean? You can tell me. 625. I'll, I'll, give, you guys, I'll give you guys a cheat in this one. You can, you can take out your calculator quickly and do it. Oh, 25. Wonderful. Okay. Yeah, you guys my know, people are so clever. They got exactly. it. Exactly. Actually, 25 squared. All right, so now all of these numbers are perfect squares, but if I asked you guys for the square root of 625, if I asked you for the square root of 625, my answer would just be 25, because 25 multiplied by itself will give me 625. So what we're going to do is a quick speed round, and I want you guys to answer as many of these in the next four minutes than you can, okay. Oh, well done. I know, Intias, I know you. You can do these without a calculator. But guys, as fast as you can, give me the answers to these, as many as you can. I know you guys are great at these. Okay, you guys have four minutes.
my people are on fire i see all these answers and i love them i see them it's good cool, guys we doing good let's go guys so far i can see good numbers on the chat let's do this guys we can do this everyone we can do this we are surviving this. Look at that. Wow. Yo, oh, you guys are like me. So, hey? Oh, they already like me. I don't think I'm going to okay. have to repeat this round because you guys are so good at these. Um, oh, we wow. are going to look at something a little bit trickier when we go, as we go along. So we're going to be looking at one more thing before we go. Because there is something tricky about square roots and cube roots that we need to know. Okay. All I'm seeing is just answer 17, 12, 14, 7. Uh, uh, everybody's getting these. Oh, you guys are so good. Guys, amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. I think we are getting there, guys. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. I'm going to start putting answers in. Uh, and I know that you guys already know these because I can see all your answers. See, now I can't remember what the square root of 196 is. And I have to be reminded what it is. I think it's 17. I hope it is. It's, it's 14. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I can see some of you guys. Taylor gave me the answer. Thank you. It's four. This one is six. Sixteen. This one is ten. Seven. Thank you, Theo. And the last one is eight. Okay, so we're all comfortable with square roots. I'm so glad. Okay. Um, I just want one, two, three, four, five. I just want guys. Can you give me an uh, like a mark out of ten? How much did you guys get out of ten? If you've done every single one of them, how much did you get out of ten? I'm going to assume you all got ten out of ten because you guys gave me answers so quickly that you guys are just you guys are amazing. You're amazing. I don't know. I don't know how to say. Hey, Em, why nine? Why, if, if you got nine out of 10, which one did you not quite get right? Yeah. Have a look at the ones you didn't get right. And remember, guys, when we're talking about square roots and cube roots, we're looking at memorization. It's just about remembering. Just like you did with your times tables in grade one or grade two, wherever you learned them, you just need to memorize them. Because if you, if you have to keep calculating for them in your head, they're going to take up way too much space. So it's easier for you to, call, to to remember them so that when you do the harder maths, it's easier for you to just remember the answer whenever you go. Okay, now we're going to look at square and cube roots. We've just looked at square roots and we're going to look at cube roots now. So I need you guys to find the cube roots of these numbers. Um, for these two, I'm hoping that nobody will need their calculator for this one and for that one and for that one. Oh, and this one too. But for number eight and number 11, I'll give you guys a little bit of a break, but I'm hoping you guys can get the answers here. Now remember cube roots work just the way that square roots work, but in this case, we need to do this three times. So Taylor, be careful. Be careful with number seven. Remember, I'm looking for a number when multiplied by itself three times is going to give me 27. So for instance, let me say, if I was looking for the cube root of eight, I know that's going to be two because I need that number three times. So I need two times two times two. That is the same as two cubed, and that gives me eight. So the cube root 
of eight is two. So now I'm seeing a lot of you guys have the correct answer for me. The cube root of 27 is in fact three because three multiplied by itself three times is gonna give me 27. So I'm gonna do three times three times three and three times three is nine times another three is gonna give me 27. So that's how we get to three. Okay. Now I need you guys to find me the other cube root. So let's look for seven. 8 and 11 you're allowed to use your calculator with, but the others, mm, I don't think, I don't really think you need a calculator for the others. Okay, I'm hoping somebody can give me an answer for 8. Somebody says 9 for 8. Okay, 8 is 9, thank you. And number 9 is, is indeed 4. Number 10 is 10, okay? Number 11 is indeed 20. And the last one, number 12. Thank you, Kukanya, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna put these answers in. This one is nine. The cube root of 64 is four. The cube root of a thousand, this one should be easy. It's just 10 times 10 times 10, okay? And this one is actually the same as that one. It's just we added a lot more zeros at the end. So this one is gonna be 20, and then the cube root of 125 is in fact five. Okay, guys, are we okay with how these sums work? Can I get a thumbs up if you're okay with the difference between a cube root and a square root? I'm getting a thumbs up from Kendra. I'm getting a thumbs up from Angel. And what's up? What's up? Please do let me know if you need me to explain anything else over again. Please just let me know because it's going to be very important for us to remember these rules as we go. Let's go, my people. So I think that they got the difference between the kids and the squares. Well done. Amazing. 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 All right, so we're going to be looking at something quite tricky and I need you guys to have your calculator with you as we go through this, okay? And if we can get this one right, <clears throat> we're going to go on a nice brain break today. We're going to be doing rebus puzzles, Delanda, you know? Yeah. Love, 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 those, those are so fun. All right, so on your calculator, guys, I hope you can find this button and I know you're gonna find it because it's quite easy to spot this the square root sign, and I want you to click that sign, and in there, I want you to put in the square root of 16, and I already know you guys are gonna find the answer for me. You don't even need your calculator, okay? But I want you guys to put that in for me, is for 100%, 100%. Now, I want you guys to click that same button, but I want you guys to put in negative 16, and tell me what you get. And if you tell me the answer is negative four, I know you didn't use your calculator. Tell me, what does your calculator say? It says math error, Farid. Yes, wonderful feature. It says math error. Okay. You're checking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it says error one. Wow. I knew somebody would fall for my trick. It is not negative four. Okay. And the reason for this, the reason for this is because if I had to find the square root of 16, this is the same as four times and both of these numbers are positive. To multiply two positive numbers, I'm just going to get a positive 16 out. So positive 4 squared is equal to 16. <laughs> Let's say this says mine went off. <laughs> you might need new batteries. Let's say you're a new calculator. Okay. But do you guys remember what we said yesterday? Remember yesterday? Oh, can you see it has a question? Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah she, she was raising her hand up. But I, I just wanted you to finish teaching first. But she, sure. she let me just finish explaining here quickly and then we'll talk about that. All right, guys, remember yesterday we spoke about the difference between minus two squared and the difference between minus two 
all squared. Who remembers the difference between these two? Who, who is brave enough to put up their hand and remind me what the difference between minus two squared and minus two all squared is? Those of you here on who are here on Monday will be able to tell me. I am trusting you guys. I know you can tell me. I know you know the answer. Anybody? I'll give it 10 more seconds. Okay. All right. Um, okay. I'll explain again. I'll explain that. Okay. KM, I think KM might want to answer, but you can't find the hand. Um, but I will ask you to unmute if you can. Okay. Coco. Hi, KM. Hey. Okay. Uh, so we, I think it's the brackets, right? Because um, because without without the brackets, then it'll, you'll only be squaring yes. the two instead of the brackets. Exactly. So this answer, what would this answer for this first one be? What would the answer for the first one be? Uh, so negative, four. negative four. Negative four. Negative four. Because my add the minus at the end. But what about this last one? What about this one? Yeah. What would happen? Ooh, four. So what would happen in the second one? Ooh, I can't hear him. Hey, am I still there? Hi, KM. Hey. Hi, KM. Are you still Yo, there? Sorry, it was, it was never a problem. It would be It would just be. It would just be four because well, the negative. Uh, Teacher Coco, your That's line okay. is very so do you remember what happens here? What happens in this? A negative? Oh no. Oh no. Right now. I'm sorry, but I hope you guys can hear me. Are you able? So guys, basically teacher Coco was explaining and KM was answering the question. So we see that the first one there, the difference between negative two to the power of two is that we have a negative one times it by two times it by two, like we learned on Monday, right? And the one with the brackets, we have two brackets of the same thing. So we will have a negative two times it by negative two that gives us a positive four because we have learned also that a negative times a negative gives us positive. So well done, KM. Well done. You did well. Thank you. Thank you, Teacher Elinda. Um, I just need to stop sharing my screen for one second. I have no idea what's happening here, but I'm That's going to reshare it. That's okay. At least we could hear you a little bit. So that, that's fine, Teacher Coco. Go ahead. Sorry, I've just got this the square at the bottom of my, my screen and I don't know where it comes from. So guys, just give me one second. I just wanna see what's happened here. That's and okay. Again. Oh, there we go, wonderful. I got it, I got it, I got it. Sure, today guys, technology is not my friend. I don't know what I've done to technology today. Okay, okay there we are. All right, thank you guys. So now, um, if we look at this, if we look at the square root of a negative number, we're never going to get the square root of a negative number because every single time we square a negative number, our answer is going to come out positive. It is going to be a square number, a negative number times this, the negative number again. Do you guys understand that? Give me a thumbs up if you understand that you cannot find the square of a negative number. I'm, I'm, seeing, I'm seeing thumbs up everywhere. I'm so glad you cannot find the square root of a negative number. Okay. Awesome. 
that's because whatever number is supposed to be negative, you're always going to get a negative something times a negative something. To give us a positive answer. So this I can of negative eight. Who can tell me what is the cube root of negative eight? Let's go, guys. So basically what teacher uh, Coco was saying right now, because I know some of you didn't hear her correctly, she was still explaining to us why we cannot find a square root of a negative number. So now we know, right? So that's a tick. And now we are busy answering a question about what is the answer to this to the cube root of a negative eight. And I can see on the chart. Yes, my people, you've got this. Yay! Did Coco agree yeah, with us, guys? Okay. Who is brave enough to explain why? Who can tell me why? Okay, so we can raise our hand if we want to answer that question. Anybody wants to volunteer? Mehdi! Alright, Mary, can you tell me why? Why do you have the square? Um, ma'am, it's because when you say negative two times negative two times negative two, because you say negative times a negative is a positive, and a positive times a negative, which is a negative. That's how I got my answer. And you say the cube root of eight, which is two. So that's how I got a cube root of a negative, negative two. Excellent. You know what? I'll give you a high five. I'm going to give you a, high, a virtual high five. Why? That's the exact one. And that positive multiplied by negative is going to give me another negative. All right. Well done, Joe. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Oh. That was you are so right. My my connection is so bad. And the difference between a negative cube root and the negative square root. Okay. I hope that you guys are a little bit more funky. We're going to look at operation. Okay. We're going to be looking at, um, at operations. Okay, guys, so this is the operation that Teacher Coco has put us on the board that we can see right there, okay? So we can try and answer question one. A, question one, B, as much as we can, because now we know, right? We're not even using our calculators because we have learned about our square roots. We have learned about our cube roots. And we can see that this question is based on our square roots. So now that you know about your square roots, let's try and answer this question without using a calculator. Let's go. What is the one A? Put on the chat. What's for one A? Oh, well done. Can you guys hear me? Oh, teacher Coco. Would, okay. um, can you see? Teacher Coco, we didn't hear anything of what you just said now. But I believe that teacher Coco wants us to answer the questions. Right, guys? She wants us to answer yes. the questions. Let's go, guys. Let's do this. You, Linda, can you hear me now? Yes, teacher Coco, but it's a bit and pieces. So if you hear me talk, it means that we didn't actually hear the whole sentence. <laughs> That's why oh, I keep talking. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm trying my best. That's okay. We can follow. We can follow. Guys, please do mark your 
number one a so this is how you should give to us in the chat do you see what teacher coco did teacher coco told us that it's seven times seven which gives us 49 so i want you to try one b let's see what are you gonna get for one b and why okay so you need to put your reasoning so there we go this first okay we always do what's inside the brackets first guys remember what bod mass says brackets first so this is going to give me four all squared and that's going to be 16. i hope you guys are with me there teacher linda please let me know if you can hear me uh, teacher Coco, we can hear yeah, bits and pieces. Don't worry, I have your back. So if we oh, can't completely hear, yeah, I'll be I'll be talking, but okay. it's still glitchy. It's, it's glitchy. Okay, you can... I'm so sorry. Two times eight is gonna give us 16, and that's then gonna give us four. But I can see you guys are doing a great job with these. So I'm going to try and continue Okay, guys. So the basic is the cocoa. Six minus, which is nine. And that's going to be. Oh. Guys, I hope that you're marking, right? I know you can't hear it to cocoa perfectly well, but she's basically just giving us and reassuring to us. That the, that, the, that the answer we have given in the chat is correct. So you are marking your work. Just continue giving answers. She's gonna continue giving us the corrections for the answers and we just have to mark them, okay? If any one of you do not understand how did teacher Coco arrive to the answer, please, I want you to put your hand up so that we can deal with that, okay? So you're more than welcome to just put, raise your hand and you can talk to us or you can put your question on the chat. You are also welcome to do so, okay? Let's do this, guys. Let's go. I see the answers coming. Keep them coming. Teacher Coco is gonna make sure that she tells us what is the correct answer and we just have to mark them, okay? Let's do this. Okay, so Angel, Angel, can you please raise your hand? Angel, would you like to come in and talk about it? I see you say that you don't understand 2B. Would you like to raise your hand and then we can talk about it, Angel? I cannot see what 2B was. If you do remember and you have written in your book, I want you to raise your hand and tell me what 2B question was asking and then we can talk about it. Angel, are you there? Would you like to raise your hand? Should I unmute you? Are you fine with that? Please confirm with me before I try and unmute you. Lisedi, it's okay. It's because um, teacher Coco stopped sharing her screen. So I'm sure she's just having some difficulties, but she will be with us just now, okay. And guys, on top of that is our brain break brain break i think you guys deserve it uh you really deserve a brain break but i think teacher coco is here guys thank you for being patient you guys are wonderful people and i love you i'm just trying to make teacher coco like a co-host so that she can share her screen let's go guys let's go so while she's doing that i think we deserve a break. So you either stretch, oh yeah, the questions. You can answer your questions while you're busy stretching. It's good for you. It's good for your for your brain. Stretch. I see Lawrence over there. Lawrence, are we are we are we stretching our head? I think it's good for you. Oh, we had so much today, guys. We do. We do. Hi. So, um, okay, so teacher Coco, we cannot we cannot really hear clearly. It's really a struggle to hear you. Um 
So Angela, you said that you didn't understand to be, right? So basically about to be, Angela, oh, uh, okay. Uh, so now we are on our brain break, guys. Today, it was a lot. <laughs> I appreciate every one of you, but this is a brain break now. And Angela, I think we're going to talk about that question when Teacher Coco shares the same screen again, okay? So don't worry, we'll sort it out. I'm just wondering, what is the... the um, Dead body, my. Why? What is that? Oh, there we go. Now we're back. <laughs> so, Coco is surprising us today. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Peter, Peter, Peter with a, a pen nose. Farid, I agree with you. But then now we need to answer this. What is this? Um, what do you think this means, guys? Dead body, my. What do you think it is? Let's give it a try. Let's go. While you're busy stretching, let's give it a try, guys. Oh, I think that we're having an answer over here. <laughs> so the answer is over my dead body, guys. Yes, Miss Akanya. Yes, go. You got it right. Well done. Well done, guys. Oh, I love you, and I'm giving you all hugs. <laughs> and I hope that you have learned. So I think we did learn, actually. We learned uh, the difference between the, the square, um, square numbers and cube numbers. We have learned how we can find the square root and uh, cube root. We have also learned that you cannot find a negative of a square root, a negative number. Of a, like a square root of a negative number. So you have learned that. You have learned the operation. And I think it was a multiplication operation of some square roots. Ah, oh, you guys have learned a lot today. I think you did. You did I'm so learn. sorry. Linda, are you able to hear me now? Now we can able to hear you. You're back. Oh and we did some okay. Brain. Okay. Can you just please let me know what I'm seeing? On your screen at the so, moment. So right now we, we are seeing over I'm my over you my guys are body. seeing what and must because if you aren't then teacher Coco, we are looking um at see I've moved over to the, the right. Teacher, see teacher now, uh can you guys see the next one? It has what and must. I don't know if you guys can see that. No, we cannot see that one. Princess, don't worry. It's next question, guys. We will survive this. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Intias, what are you seeing? What must have? Oh, guys, I'm so sorry. Um, I'm not sh all too sure what to do here. I think we are seeing what must. We are seeing what must at this point. Are you seeing? I just, I don't know. What so in the world? I okay. Uh, what must. At this point, we are looking at what must. Are you seeing my writing? I'm writing on the top. Are you able to? We can see that. So who can guess this puzzle? That's what she's saying. Who can it's guess what it stands for? Just like is? the other one. Just like the other one. What goes up? Who can finish this one for me? There we go. Iminati says what goes up must come down. Well done, Iminati. Well done, guys. There we go. Oh, we're out of time. 
What do you guys think of this one? <laughs> it was not that hard, Lissedi. Are you able to hear me? We can we can hear you, Teacher Coco. We can hear you. Did the screen, did the screen change, uh, Teacher yes. Linda? Now, now we're doing sitting over the world. And then we have also S-T-R-E-E-T. -E -E so that's what yeah. we're looking at right now. Under the world. I hope you guys can guess this one is pretty easy, I think. Oh no. Let's go, my people. Top of the world. Oh, guys, you see, sitting on top of the world. Yes, I'm Sekiwa, you got it right. I think everybody was so close, was so close to the answer. Sekiwa got it. The one that says street. Why is street like Imrahara? There we go. Turn the focus on, guys. What do you guys? There we go. Princess. Street. So, so we cannot hear the Chakoko perfectly well, street. but I think this is Corner Street, guys. Well done. Corner Street is the answer. So now we know, okay, that Corner Street is the answer. <laughs> Can you see this is small street? I, I see why you got to that answer. But it's not quite small street. Well okay, very last one. Last one. Oh, so it wasn't corner street, it's street corner. <laughs> that was also wrong. I thought it's corner street. I don't know if there's a difference between corner street and street corner. But the answer that teacher Coco is writing there is basically street corner. <laughs> Not corner street, but okay. <laughs> you said it, that's okay. At least you got somewhere. <laughs> At least you got somewhere. Guys, look, um, I think that we really did well today. And I hope you did learn something. And I promise you, Next week, we're going to have this, this network-ish thing up to our sleeves, okay? We'll be prepared for it. Um, yes, guys, it's our quiz day. It's definitely our quiz day. Hey, teacher Coco is here. So, I don't know, teacher Coco, if you can hear me, but can I please post the the quiz, um, the quiz link already? Yes, there is. Okay, so I'm just gonna post the link then to Chakoko. I'm not sure if you can hear me, but I'm gonna give my students the link to the uh, quiz. All the best guys, all the best. You guys are gonna do well. Um, Teacher Coco, I did, I did try to make you a host. I'm not sure if you did. Hi, yes, yes, I think I am. I hope okay. you guys can hear me now. I'm hoping we you can guys hear can you. Hear me now. We yeah, can I'm, hear I'm so sorry, guys. My, my network and just load shedding is just killing everybody. I'm so sorry. Um, next week, Pete, uh, teacher Peter will come back. I will ask him to pick up where I left. Okay. Definitely. Thank you so much, Teacher Coco, for being with us this week. We really love you and we appreciate you. And thank you for all the troubles, you know, 
that you went through. We're sorry about that. And everyone, you can just grab the, the link. Teacher Coco is because we cannot hear what you're saying. That's why I'm talking. <laughs> so I hope you understand. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear us, but if you can hear us, we're saying thank you. Hey, guys, we're saying thank you. And we're saying bye-bye to Teacher Coco because next week, Teacher Peter will be with us. So we're saying to Teacher Coco that we thank Teacher Coco for being with us this week. So Teacher Coco is saying thank you for, wait, I need to get that message. Oh, it's not me next week, but, but thank you guys. Teacher Coco is saying thank you guys for your patience. It will be better next week, I promise. Have a great week. So bye everyone. I hope you did grab the, the quiz link. Okay, all the best with your quiz. Yes, we do Melissa. Oh, thank you, we do Melissa. Oh, Lawrence, we receive it. We receive those love hearts. Thank you, Lawrence. And Seki was saying thank you to Coco. Oh, my people. You guys are so loving. That's why I love you, class. Okay, so we gotta <laughs> love you and leave you. We do have to go. We have to run to the other class, okay? So bye bye everyone. Mm. Enjoy your bye evening. guys. Bye bye. Bye bye everyone. Oh.